So the students have had such luck breeding the jellyfish in our system that we have an excess, uh, more than we can display here. And what do you do with excess animals? You give them to other people that need them. And so the Omaha Zoo came down and they're gonna put them on public display. Moon jellies are something that the Omaha Zoo goes through quite a bit because we actually use them as a food source and we use them as a display animal. So we raise them up in big numbers at the zoo. And um, so we could always use more moons and, and he said he had a surplus. So I thought we could work out a great deal where instead of uh, a FedEx shipment, which it's a 24 hour shipment and it costs 300 bucks to ship it. So why not spend 20 bucks in gas just to come over for the, for the day. And uh, so I offered up Andy, he's our jelly guy, uh, to give a talk to the, to the students and, and uh, told him I'd give him a quick talk on Secor and got to make a, a swap out of it. We're extremely well received by public aquariums. They like the fact that we're training students for their industry, and so they support us. They've sent us, uh, Omaha Zoo has sent us uh, live corals, they've sent us jellyfish, anemones, um, just handfuls of animals, um, and we couldn't afford any of these animals any other way. The New England Aquarium sent us a $2,000 shark and just gave it to us for free. And what we're trying to do to repay that is something we can do here is breed moon jellyfish. And so we just simply give them back. Breeding moon jellyfish is very labor intensive. It's something that the aquariums don't have time for. They all want to display them. They're not an expensive animal, but it's our way of paying back the industry that's supporting us. The 16, 17 year olds in our program are very excited to do this. They jump in, they do all the work. I haven't fed these jellyfish in a year and a half because the students have done absolutely all the work on it. They come in on Thanksgiving, they come in on Christmas, they come in all summer long and take care of the animals that you see behind me. Well, for somebody that's looking to get into that field, and there's a, a, a wide range of jobs that kind of go with this. You can, you can work in a public aquarium, you can work with the government, you can work in environmental uh, industry. So there's a lot of jobs you can go with this kind of background. And to have that is just invaluable. As a, as a child, like I said, I just had aquariums at home and learning on your own, trial and error. And, and to have that where you can go to a school and, and learn from professionals and hear from professionals is uh, to me would just be an incredible resource. We have asked around and as far as we know we're the we're very unique. We're the only program in the United States of this magnitude. Um, there are smaller programs in high schools but to actually be a uh, 14,000 gallon basically a little mini public aquarium in a school is pretty unheard of. Um, so yeah we're very proud of it. We're proud of the the work the students do. We have 140 students that get to participate in our program every school year and so we think we're touching a lot of people.